Hello everybody and we're coming at you with another Warhammer video. It was recently revealed that Tyranids were going to get another slew of new models. And I want to go over what these new models look like and what's coming in the coming months. With the release of the Leviathan box, we did get some new Tyranid models like the updated Screamer Killer, the winged Tyranid Prime, a first look at the revamped Termagants, a new unit known as the Psychophage, the Neuro Tyrant, our big zoanthrope looking brain bug, Barbgaunts, Neurogaunts, and the Von Ryan's Leapers. But now we're about to get even more. They did reveal those new models on the Warhammer community site, so we're going to take a look at those. We have some that are going to be just revamped versions of the original models, some complete redesign, we'll see, with the Biovores and Pyovores, and also some new units, which is pretty exciting. So first off, we have the Gene Stealers, one of the original models, a staple, very recognizable unit for the Tyranids. And as we can see here, these are the revamped versions. Uh, what we can see on the side is they've got bigger claws, kind of more menacing claws, and a defined carapace and that was something I struggled with as a painter of what actually was the carapace and what is kind of your body and I've seen other painters they treat carapace of the gene stealer as just a cohesive piece of their body so there's not the actual defined carapace gene stealers were a weird unit where some painters painted them as no differentiation between what was the base coat versus the carapace but here we can see action poses with the Gene Stealers rather than all, them all kind of be in pose the same way. Some are standing on some terrain. Some are lunging in various different poses. Those are the Gene Stealers. Next, we have the revamped version of the Hormigaunts. Now, these, similar to the Termagants, these are the full melee, no guns, just the scything talons. And these are the updated versions of those. Same thing as the Gene Stealers. They are in more action-oriented poses. This guy right here kind of looks like a velociraptor, like mid-jump. And they've got the updated Termagant model type that we saw with the Leviathan box. Next, we moved into the updated Lictors. Now, Lictors are one of my favorite units. They are the reason I got into Tyranids. I just loved the way that the Lictors looked. The first codex I saw, there was a story about a Lictor. It's what made me want to learn more about the race from from the beginning so here we see the lictor his arms look large larger more tendril looking faces more menacing looking i i do really like this revamped model version here's another photo of the new lictors this one looks kind of bulkier like a behemoth lictor or something like that i i'm not sure how these are going to be utilized or if these are just different poses you can do with the lictor or if this is an actual different type of lictor it looks bulkier it's not as lean and skinny it's just beefier here we have the Neurolictor. As you can tell, it has no eyes. It's very insect looking. The arms are kind of more crab legs or something like that. Interesting design. It's got the exposed brain. Probably going to use more psychic abilities or something like that. Not sure, but I do like the way that this looks. Side profile of it, you can see the brain being exposed. So it's like we see with the Neuro Tyrant and some of the, the newer Tyranid models where you're seeing some of that exposed brain. And finally, for the Lictors, we have a Death Leaper, the updated Death Leaper. Here, he kind of has a cloak. Not sure how I feel about the cloak. Doesn't really make sense to me. But supposedly, this is going to be able to be used as a HQ unit. Got those real menacing scything talons, kind of just beefier looking things. More gross looking tendrils coming out of the face. More eyes coming out of it. And then that weird cape. I, again, not sure what that's about. But very cool design on the updated Death Leaper. And then we have what I think are the coolest units that were revealed so far. The updated Biovores and Pyrovores. I do have the original Biovore. And from the lore standpoint, it was like orcish in its origin. You could tell in its face it looks very orky. It looks like it, it was an orc birth tyranid. But here they've kind of completely redesigned it, made it more like a battle crab with a giant freaking cannon on its back. Really like this. Definitely want to pick these up. Completely different style of model unit that we've seen for the tyranid. Like the Turvagon that has multiple legs that it walks on with the kind of very skinny 
spider legs with the big hulky hooves in the back along with the like exocrine exocrine has big arms that kind of stands like, like a gorilla with the big hooves in the back but this one's like all pointy crab legs carapace spider legs something like that very cool like it a lot i like the giant cannon on the back it looks like a tyranid tank Updated spore mines, and then here's just another angle of that. Looks like it's kind of got like a shield in the back protecting the cannon of that pyovore biovore. And then to the main attraction, big bugs that are coming out. These are looking like they're going to be pretty massive in size. Maybe these are going to be the demon prince equivalent unit for the Tyranids. Because the Tyranids don't really have anything, don't really have their big unit model. And these are kind of looking like that's what they could be. Next, we have the Norn Emissary. This thing looks massive, got a big base. That's what I'm thinking this is. It's kind of like a Hive Tyrant on steroids, a super shredder of Hive Tyrant. He must have drank all of it. It's a super shredder. So this is just another angle we can see kind of it's got some tendrils coming out the back it's long tail we've got kind of brain throughout the carapace which is interesting to see down its back i'm not sure what this thing is here but it looks like part of an arm maybe it's a, a some sort of ranged weapon or a shield not sure really like the way that this model looks and finally we have the norn assimilator this one looks like it's in conjunction with the norn emissary one big unit Maybe you get to choose which one you're going to display. I can't imagine you can build both out of a box. But here we can see its head looking more where the emissary had that, that big hive tyrant looking spike on the front. This one's kind of split in two. Makes it look more bug-like. Hormigon on steroids or a cross between a hive tyrant and a lictor. Something that's got a lot of claws, a lot of melee firepower, but doesn't have quite the same range capabilities. You don't see the exposed brain anywhere on this one. This guy just looks like you don't want him anywhere near you. Very insect looking down here. Kind of a close up of its front profile. Its claws, its fangs, its, its stabby bits. But those were the revealed new units for the Tyranid army. Let me know down in the comments what you think. Which models are you looking forward to? Which ones are you are a must have for you? For me right now, it's the Pyovore and the Biovore. I just really like those kits. I want to pick up the emissary, the Norn Emissary or the Assimilator, but I have no idea how much that thing is going to cost. It could be a $150 box. Daddy needs to save some money before I can look at either of those big bugs. But what are you looking forward to? What are you going to be definitely picking up for your armies? And if you're enjoying the Tyranid content, please let me know down in the comments. Give a like, share this video around, subscribe to the channel for more content, and we'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.